A good old Happy New Year, everyone. Yes, I'm like a week late, but oh well. I always wanted to make a video like this, but uh, I never had the fan base for it. And I always wanted to specifically live stream for it, but uh, I feel like no one would watch or be here live. Uh, and I wanted to do this because I just want to chat with people on New Year's Eve, but it is what it is right now. Maybe next year we could do that. But as far as this video goes, I just wanted to say thank you guys. 2,000 subscribers. I know that's not like a big number in the grand scheme of things, but to me, I started this year with 71, I believe. And the number grew over 30 times that number to get to 2,100 and something something, if my math is correct, which it probably isn't. That's crazy. If you were to say at the, be at the beginning of the year, hey, Chris, would my name's Chris, by the way. Hey, Chris, would you possibly imagine getting this many subs this year? I'd be like, hell no, because my videos weren't getting any views whatsoever. The only views they would get were from like Reddit posts because I would post my videos on Reddit in one of those like critique threads saying, hey guys, how can I improve my videos? How, what can I make better? Blah, 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 blah. But I actually have subscribers now, which is something I really didn't think I'd get. Um, so I just want to say thank you to everyone, everyone who's ever left a comment, everyone who's ever lurked, everyone who's ever watched, anyone who's subbed, anyone who left a like, anyone who left comments. Uh, especially the comments. I love reading stuff that says, oh man, you're so underrated, or man, I really, really don't like sports games, but you know, I watch your stuff anyway because it's pretty good. Stuff like that just makes my day. And the fact that I even have like a fan base, I don't want to say fan base, that's, that's not a good word. A viewer base is something that's pretty awesome, honestly. You know, because like I said, I would post these videos and they would just be DOA. And now I post videos and I get likes and I get comments and I'm starting to recognize people who actually comment a lot more than others. This channel specifically throughout the year, I felt like I've made a lot of improvements. Um, the channel style changed. I used to make videos where I would come on camera myself and do like these little for lack of a better term, angry video game nerd type skits and shit. And they just weren't really all that good. And I was getting better at it. I was getting more comfortable with it. But the thing is, my the room I'm in just doesn't help. <laughs> I'm in this fucking orange ass Nickelodeon room. It, it's just it's just not a good help. Um, so would I like to return to doing that again? Probably, maybe, I don't know. Uh, I just feel like the way I do it now is more, for lack of a better term, streamlined. I really like the way I'm doing things now. Um, I've experimented with some stuff. I did a couple icebergs, which were, uh, fun, but at the same time, very hectic to make. I've experimented with, uh, some top 10 lists. Watch out, Watch Mojo, I'm coming for you. No, I'm just kidding, I fucking hate Watch Mojo. Um, yeah. As far as the future of the channel's concerned, we just keep going. I have a lot of projects in my head. I, I can pull up my project list in front of me right now, but I'm too lazy. And I just wanna press forward with more cool stuff. The next two videos, as far as the topics are concerned, are already locked in, I already know what I'm doing. Uh, as far as the others go, I just have to pick and choose whatever I feel like or whatever I'm feeling that particular day. I feel like 2022 is going to be a big year for this channel because we have new releases. We have WWE 2K22 coming out in March, which should bring some people to the channel. It's probably not going to be good press because if uh, WWE 2K22 is bad, I'm really I'm going to shit on it. Um, we have the AEW game, which doesn't have a release date, but it should come out this year. Skate 4 also doesn't have a release date, should come out this year. Esports Boxing Club, no release date again, but it should come out this year. And uh, EA Sports UFC 5, which is not even announced yet, but 
They normally release the game every two years. So if that pattern's correct, it should come out this year. But it's all speculative. I'm hoping they come out this year for the sake of the channel. So there's a lot more new stuff to cover because new stuff brings in viewers. And as far as the goals for the channel next year, I would really like to get 50,000 subscribers. I think I could do it. I think we can do it. I don't think that's too out of the realm of realism. Not that I'm thinking about it, it probably is, but you know what? Shoot high, that's how I think about it. And uh, I'll just answer a couple of commonly asked questions or questions that I think I, questions that I think would be asked. And the first one is, <laughs> will I make a sequel to the Wrestling Empire M. Dicky video? And uh, I'm 85% sure I won't. I know that's gonna make a lot of people angry or disappointed or whatever, but the thing is, the reason why I made the Wrestling Empire video is because it's such a cool story. I'm covering this guy who's been making wrestling games or games in general for since I've been in elementary school, pretty much. And he's still trudging along to this day and he actually had a game published on the Switch, which is insane to think about. I was just covering that game, showing even though, yes, it's very ugly and very janky, it has a ton of charm. And it's wacky that this guy does stuff that's better than the 2K games with all of their developers and resources and big budgets. And this fucking one British guy, I think he's British. This one British guy just shits all over them in some aspects, which is crazy to think about. Um, if I were to make a sequel to that video, what what could I possibly say that I haven't said already? I know you guys will say like, oh man, they added the Booker mode and M. Dickey's making uh, an open world update and those are cool or whatever, but the overall topic is gonna be the same. This guy on his own made a game and it's really good. That's the story of the video. And if I were to just do that again, it would just be the same thing except, oh man, he did Booker mode too, you know? So as far as that goes, I'm probably not gonna do a sequel. I don't wanna be looked at as like a wrestling game channel. And I don't wanna be looked at as an M. Dicky channel. I wanna be a little bit more broad than that because if I were to go down that route, I'd just end up probably being miserable making content. So, yeah, that's also another reason. <laughs> Not to say that I don't have an M. Dicky themed video on my project list, <laughs> but it's pretty down there. So yeah, that's my thoughts on that. The second question, what happened to the EA Sports big series? Is that done? Are you not doing it anymore? Did you give up? I didn't give up. It's just on a little hiatus right now. When I make a video, like I said, I have a whole project list and some projects just jump in front of others. And the EA Sports big series is just, get, is just getting leapfrogged right now. It's not done. I, I made a promise that I'll review every single one and I will. It's just gonna take me a little bit to get there. But uh, as of right now, I don't really have that on the mind. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Uh, those are also like the worst performing videos, which is a little shocking, especially the SSX one, because SS, like I get NFL Street and more so Def Jam Vendetta because those are kind of sort of not really talked about nowadays, but the SSX series is like revered and people want remasters and people still remember them. I'm, I'm kind of shocked that they did the worst out of like anything I posted this year. I guess people don't really care for it. I don't know. Because it did worse by, it did bad by every conceivable metric. Maybe uh, the NFL Street, when I cover that, that'll be better. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm doing this unscripted and live. So if I come across as a rambling and coherent asshole, that's because I am. The third question, why sports games? Why not do anything else? And it's simple. Sports games and sports game content on YouTube is so under... It's such an untapped market, I think, because you have all these 
you, ha you have all these channels that are based on like Sonic the Hedgehog content and like Grand Theft Auto content and this content and that content, any game, any game series you can think of. But with sports games, really the only videos that you would get on sports games is just people playing the newest game like MLB The Show or Madden and they're doing the ultimate team and it's just live commentary videos which isn't my style and I think sports games deserve a little bit better uh, I'm trying not to shit on anyone but these guys do like their live commentary shtick and a lot of these guys don't have the, the, the charm, the wit personality or the improv skills in order to make those videos good which is really hard to do i don't have that either that's why i script my shit and i just think sports games is such an untapped market to do things in who the hell who the hell is talking about face breaker except me who the hell is talking about supremacy mma except me who the hell is talking about the the sports mini games in gta in the gta games except me you know so I try and do things a little bit different, and I try and cover stuff you guys might not have heard about. I don't want to make, oh, Madden sucks this year. Okay, cool. Everybody has made that video. That video has been done for the last 10 years now. Why, why would I continue making that video? And I also want my videos to have some type of longevity. If I make a Madden 22 sucks video, that video is only going to be relevant for like a year until Madden 23 comes out. And then it's like, oh shit, well, why would I want to watch a Madden 22 video? You know what I mean? So if I ever review those annually released sports games, it'll probably be like a little quickie thing where it's like five minutes or less. And yeah, that's pretty much my answer. I also don't think I uh, lend myself well to other types of gaming genres. And I also don't really want to make anything else. I've had this, the only other urge I ever had was I really wanted to make a video on The Last of Us 2 when that game came out. Because so many people were shitting on the story and I just wanted to put my two cents in there. Um, but besides that, I never really wanted to jump into another field, I guess you could say, another genre. That's my thoughts on this year. That's pretty much what I had to say. I hope you guys enjoy the new year. And all that good stuff. I'm not very good at endings. So, uh, bye.